and welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about how they can improve the ages challenge I saw all those comments from the last video and I agree with all of you about all the complaints that you have about the ages challenge so I thought I'd make a video you know giving Netmarble some advice on what they could do now whether or not they listen to me whether or not they listen to the players that play this game that wanted to survive and succeed well, that remains to be seen, but I thought we'd make this video. I thought we'd talk a little bit about it because there's definitely some improvements that they could make. Now, the Ages Challenge was a game mode that's been implemented for quite a few months now. And the deal is with this thing is that you can use certain fighters for each of these. Now, this is something that I don't really like. And at the same time, I kind of like, you know, whenever they put, you know, a certain limited fighters in here, it we we're only allowed to use these specific fighters fighters but in the past whenever we would use like say a bs or ss character we could use them but we couldn't use them whenever like say guinness would get groggy because we couldn't apply nuts whenever we apply these nuts to those characters then you know we can't switch to another character if we use them to cause guinness to go into the groggy state so something i would really like to see in the ages challenge is if you we have these nuts let the nuts apply more like buffs to our characters right instead of some kind of form of cc that controls what we're actually doing or doesn't allow us to switch to another character just give us buffs buffs like these momentum and overpower this is perfectly fine but give us buffs to the characters to make them quite a bit stronger make it to where say like a newer player say someone that's only been playing for like three months you know taking account maybe the event codex that they might have or i'm sorry taking into account maybe the codex they might have after three months of playing and if they were able to a3 a character and maybe they had one buffing character they'd be able to get most of the rewards out of here because what we're finding is that it's really tough in here to get the maximum rewards rewards out of here you really need a five characters and since we already have other game modes in the game like the plug-in plan where we need a five ue characters and beyond so we have the overall points we can do well i think that would be just fine because these are supposed to be events these are supposed to be fun things that everybody can do in the game so honestly i think making it a little bit easier would be a good way to go and something else they could do and i've mentioned this in the last video but i'm going to harp on it again because it needs to be harped on is they need to return our ex generic memories we need to have ex generic memories or a selector like what we had in the past events to where we can choose specific characters because you just certain characters just have amazing buffs characters like shizuru cosme like my zeke and cause guinness to go into the groggy state if they're gonna do the whole thing where you have to apply a bunch of dots Mizey is amazing in there. Kula is amazing in there. And that's kind of why I want to get rid of that little system to where we just have buffs instead of applying a whole bunch of dots. Because if we have that system, then we can just do more damage. It would actually make things a little bit more consistent. Like maybe have a damage meter on Guinness or, you know, whoever the age challenge is. Have a little damage meter. If we're able to reach that damage meter in a certain time threshold, then we can cause them to go into the groggy state. I think that would be a lot better because we could actually see it go down. I mean, I realize we can look at the dots and we can see how many dots we do have applied. But if we have like a little meter where we can see how much damage we're actually doing and once we reach a certain threshold, then we can do even more damage. We get more buffs. I think that would be pretty damn cool. I think that would actually be a lot better than what we have going on because, you know, the Aegis Challenge really does have a lot, a lot of RNG because our other characters, you know, sometimes they die, sometimes they don't, and it really is a pain in the butt. I mean, this is supposed to be a fun event. When you take out some of that RNG, Netmarble, it makes it a lot better. This should be just fun things that we can do where we can pretty much get all of the rewards. I mean, if you put an EX memory in here, it's not a big deal. And put it up here where the lower points are at. Don't put it all the way at the end. Put it the higher. Because the UEs are the rare characters. Those are the characters you want us to pull for. Those are the characters you want us to get to A5. So having EX generic memories in here would not be a big deal. Even if it was just one. Every banner that we have. Every new banner, which is every three weeks to a month. Having one EX generic memory here would be just fine. Or what would be even better is an EX memory selector for all the EX characters that we have available. Personally, I would like to have maybe like once in a while have a selector and then maybe have a generic memory. That would be pretty cool. But this really does have to change. These prime memory shards, people look at this and they think, yeah... I can build my character faster. I can level up even more. But what about all the players that don't have these characters that 
A5. Think about all the rubies that you need to A5 a character, especially if you have bad luck. I've talked about this before and this is something that marvel doesn't really take into account and it does push players away so if you make these events easier to where they feel like they're a whole lot more fun and you take some of that rng out of there it's going to be a lot better for all the players because in all those comments i saw in the last video most players are just like f this game mode i'm not playing it i don't want to play it the rewards aren't worth it i don't really care it's not worth the headache and i i totally sympathize with that i totally get it guys I also feel the same way. I really do. And I have A5 Elizabeth. I have A5 Magakis. And, you know, I have these characters leveled up. And I still feel that way about it. So I know players out there that don't have these characters leveled up, they're going to feel some kind of way about this. It really is annoying as hell that they removed those EX characters from our banners. And then they don't even put the memories in here. I mean, that's... I honestly don't understand that way of thinking at all. But, I mean, if they had a login event where we got a selector... And then in the carnival, we got one generic memory. That would be awesome. Just do that in that marvel. Do that every update. That would be lit like a Christmas tree. And something else that would actually really, really help. Now, this is just something as a content creator that I'm, you know, kind of going to complain about. But in the AG system, I cannot show you guys any other teams. I cannot reset this at all. And I personally think that we should be able to reset this as many times as we want. What is the harm in everybody farming for nuts, getting all their nuts, and being able to reset this however they want so they can test multiple characters? That would not only help the content creators, but it would help all the players out there. You know, they're not maybe they're not going to have certain characters, or maybe they're going to get a certain character, and they're going to be able to get it done. My alarm was going off, I had to turn it off. But maybe they'll be able to get it done with a different character, right? They could try, like, maybe put a level 90 character in there. Maybe they're using that character for a buff. Or and if that character doesn't work out, they could, you know, switch out to another character. If you could reset this, that would be awesome. But we can't, right? We can't reset it, and it just sucks. This would not be a big deal at all. We still would have to farm for the nuts. I don't see the problem in having like unlimited resets here at all. You could also set it up in here to where maybe instead of like, you know, like the buffs I mentioned earlier, maybe have some kind of invulnerability uh, that you could level up. You know, whenever Guinness does his big shot to the ground and destroys everybody, maybe we could have some kind of invulnerability so that way we could keep our characters alive there's a lot of little things that we can do in this game mode to make it much better make it much more improved because right now the way this thing is set up we're limited with the characters that we can use the fact that nine times out of ten you're going to need an a5 plus character to get the maximum rewards it's kind of horse crap and the fact that there's an insane amount of rng when we are playing this i mean net marvel needs to eliminate some of these things so that way it can be more fun i don't want it to be super super easy but I want it to be a fun game mode. Prime memory shards are not a great thing to get from that carnival. Those rewards are not matching the difficulty of the AG challenge. In my opinion, this challenge is... I mean, it's not that hard for someone like me, but it's going to be really hard for a lot of other players that might only have an A3 Elizabeth, that might only have an A3 Shen Wu, right? They don't have these characters really that leveled up. Maybe they're using the free Magaki that's only at A2. Those rewards are not worth the headache to go for unless you're putting something in there useful like an EX Memory. And if they put the EX Memory where you don't have to acquire so many points, that would really, really help. It wouldn't be a big deal because players would still pull for the UE characters because those are the rare characters. We still need them for the plug-in plants. People are still going to want to get them for the Tower of Illusion to try to get some better rewards out of there. But really that plug-in plant is really the reason people are going to be trying to get them. So I don't really see any harm in making some changes to the Age Challenge to make it a lot more fun. Make, putting, putting in some better rewards in there. Giving us an EX memory selector through login events. Giving us an EX memory, generic memory and the carnivals. I think those things would make a huge, huge difference in the game and honestly would make a big much bigger difference in the morale of the game people would have a higher opinion of the game if they were doing it because the way it feels right now it's like we waited two weeks to get this and now most players from what i've seen from my discord from my comments they don't care about it they hate it and that marvel you don't want that you don't want players to look at an event that shows up in the game and be like oh this sucks i'm not doing it that is not a good thing for a game because you know what happens do you know what happens Players get bored. You know what happens when players get bored? They stop playing. Now, I personally don't want that to happen in this game. I love this game. I've been playing it since day one. 
And I know a lot of players that watch my channel are in the same position. They wanted to succeed. They wanted to be successful. But you got to meet us halfway in that model. And you really do got to help us out with this. You got to make it to where this game mode is giving you the rewards worth the effort to play in it. Because if you don't feel like you're getting the good rewards from a game mode that's fairly difficult, well, then they're not going to want to play the damn thing. They're just going to find it annoying because of all the stupid RNG. So my advice to Netmarvel is make this game mode a little bit easier for players where they can use an A3 character to get the maximum rewards out of these game modes, especially if you're not going to be putting that good rewards in there. Them shards are not that good of a reward. Advancing level 50 to level 90 faster is good. The players can easily farm for those things. It just takes time. So my advice to Netmarble is make some changes to the 80s challenge or bring back Boss Showdown. Boss Showdown was way better than the 80s challenge ever was. A lot of players really loved it, especially when they had the double Boss Showdown where one was much easier for players to get all the rewards out of there. And then you had the more difficult one where the whales could try to push it to see if they could get it done just to brag about what they have done, right? Or veteran players could brag about what they've done. That was actually much better than this 80s challenge ever was it seems like ever since the 80s was introduced it just seems like players just have a complete negative attitude towards it and so some changes need to be made to this game mode or just get rid of it and put something else in that it would be much more rewarding and much more fun so guys let me know some of your ideas what you would like to see with the ages challenge if you'd like to see the boss showdown return or if you like some of the ideas that i threw out about the ages challenge being changed and i do stream on twitch at 9 p.m to do plus seven time the link is in the description below and i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching y'all take care and have a good one see everybody take care